Earlier this year, I tweeted about how I switched my primary dev environment to a graphical Nix VM on a Mac OS host, and I really like it. It's almost the end of the year, and I still really love it. Um, and even prior to this tweet, I had been experimenting and doing this for specific projects um, throughout 2020. And so it's been almost two years of this practice, and uh, I really love it. And I finally got my Nix OS configs public for everyone to see. And uh, I wanted to show what it's like to set up one of these VMs on uh, a new machine. And so I'm going to run through that today. Uh, this could be outdated by the time you're watching it. I'm recording this on October 25th, 2021. Uh, but this is roughly what it feels like to me to set up a new machine and why I like this so much. Um, so if I had a new machine, I would the first thing I would do is open a terminal and clone this out. And you could see that um, you could see that my Mac terminal has no styling or anything. I don't use the Mac terminal anymore. I only use it for this. So I clone out my configurations. Uh, I have some encrypted stuff in here, so I unencrypt that. And then at this point, I start running through the uh, make file and start creating my VM. So uh, this is an Intel machine that I'm on. So I use VMware Fusion and I downloaded uh, the Nix OS ISO from the internet. So I just do that, continue. Uh, for the Linux, I just do other, it's like somewhere here, other 5.x kernel. Uh, you wanna use UEFI. And then I before I finish, I customize the settings. So let's see, like Nix OS video. Okay, so for the settings, I don't do anything in general. In sharing, I do enable shared folders, and I just share my home directory. Keyboard and mouse, I have a profile set up, so I, I will show you this profile real quick. The profile basically just disables everything. So you can see I disabled pretty much everything here. Um, I think I disable all the fusion shortcuts except for this one too. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's all I do. So I just disable everything so that it all gets captured by the VM. Processors, uh, we want to do a lot. So let's, I'll just do half the processors. I'll do anywhere from half to 75% because this is what I am working in all day. And then for RAM, I have 32 gigs. I'll probably give it, um, just for the video, I'll give it half-ish. Um, but again, like I would probably give it uh, two thirds, three quarters or thereabouts. So we're good. Display, accelerate, graphics, maximum, useful retina resolution, and we're good. Um, network adapter, share with my Mac. Hard disk, uh, I just make it a lot bigger. 150 should be good. And I use SCSI. Um, the make file expects this, so you could use anything, but the make file won't work at that point. Uh, that's good. Sound card, I don't need it, so we remove the sound card. I remove the printer port. I remove the camera. Hello. Get rid of that. And everything else should be good to go. Uh, so then I close this and boot it up. So I just boot up the NixOS installer, and at the moment I'm working in the VM directly. Everything's gonna be super tiny on the video because this is a Retina a display in a VM that doesn't have like the scaling drivers yet, so it's just tiny, but it's okay. Um, I'll do my best to just sort of read out loud what's happening. So we're in Nix now. I click in here, and I set, I, I su into su into root, and I set the root password to root, so nothing too secret. And the last thing I do is I get the IP address. So it's 192.168.58.130. Then I go over here and export Nix adder. Was it 130 or 30? 130, like that. Uh, and then if you look at the make file, the reason I'm setting that is because at the top of the make file here, we need the address, we need that to be set. Everything else should be right. It's going to use root for the initial setups. This is what you would change if you were using NVMe. Um, and then the name of the, the configuration I want is Intel. I'm on an Intel uh, machine, so VM Intel. And then the first thing we run is bootstrap zero. So this will install a bare minimum 
uh, Nix OS um, onto this, so we're not running from the IS, ISO anymore. So now we do bootstrap vm0, root is the password, and it's off and going. Uh, so right now it's just installing Nix onto the VM disk. Uh, you can actually see the config here. So we set up unstable Nix so we could use flakes, and then we enable uh, SSH with a root password. And that's about it. So this is the Nix installation process. Okay, so that took about five minutes. And at the end of it, uh, it says, it looks like an error, but it's actually not an error. It just reboots uh, the VM. So the VM, I'm gonna hide this. The VM is rebooting now, and now it's booting from uh, NixOS from disk. And so it's just a minimal Nix installation here. Um, we set it up so root is available as root, so we could log back in. Again, I'm just in this like bad window here. It's difficult to use. Um, I just verify the address didn't change and it didn't change. Um, sometimes what I'll do here, if I'm uncertain about things, is I'll actually go into snapshots and then I'll take a snapshot here um, to just say, oh, this is the pre real bootstrap. So I'll go ahead and take a snapshot in case anything goes wrong. Um, but for the most part, this can be fine, I think. Um, so I'll take that snapshot. And now we did the bootstrap zero. We're no longer running off the ISO. Um, now we could actually run, if I open up the make file again, we could actually run the real bootstrap. Um, and what the real bootstrap does is copies this over to the VM using rsync. And then it actually runs the installation of our configuration or my personal configuration. And then it copies over my secrets. And so my secrets are just my GPG keyring and SSH keys, which I get to my new machines via just like a sneaker net. I just copy it from one machine directly on the local network to the next one. Um, I don't put these on the internet. Uh, and that's it. And then it'll reboot into our completed VM. So let's run it. Okay, and now it is building that VM. Uh, this part takes maybe about 10 minutes, uh, so I will fast forward. Okay, and that worked, took about 10 minutes, and now we're copying our secrets over. So I go ahead and enter some passwords. And again, it looks like an error, but we're just rebooting. And now when it reboots, we should have everything set up where the resolution will actually be correct. Okay, so you can see the fonts already look bigger here. But what we'll do is we'll wait for this to come in. We'll actually make it full screen now. And this is looking a lot better. Enter my username and password. And we're in. So this is my normal VM. And at this point, what I would actually do is move into using this from the VM. So I'm done with Mac. I'll never open the Mac terminal ever again for the next you know year or something. Um, but at this point, you know, I could clone and do what else. Everything's sort of installed here. And so uh, yeah, I'm good to go. I have Vim installed. My whole Vim configuration is here. You know, everything's highlighted. So yeah, this is you know took about 15 minutes. I could run this on any machine uh, in the world, uh, basically, and get an identical setup. I do run this on my laptop and my desktop. Uh, and what I would normally do is just do a full, full, full screen here. Um, but everything is set and ready to go. And that is what it's like working, setting up and working in this NixOS machine.